What it do, Bobby Way fam? It's your boy Tim J here once again with another banger. Now nah, I'm just playing, but I'm here to give the Bible study this uh, this week. Actually, the next two weeks I'll be doing the Bible study here, and we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna have a discussion. We're gonna have some fellas here, and we're gonna chop it up about what's happening in our world, our church, the church culture, the church world. And we're just gonna have a good time in the Lord. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and but also have your thinking caps on because there's gonna be some questions that you might. I need to think about as well and try to interact and and all that good old jazz so besides that let's dive into this video and remember god love you and so do i and there's nothing you can do about it all right let's dive in let's go what it do family it's your boy tim j here once again with your wednesday night bible study we're gonna do something to totally different sorry i had to catch my voice uh we're gonna do something totally different tonight we're gonna have some real talk and uh it's gonna be real and so it's the real spill that's what we're gonna call this segment um for the next couple of weeks the real spill here at bible way where we talk about um issues that's going on in the church going outside of the church what's happening in our world our culture friends relationship whatever it is it's the real deal and mind you this is not scripted so we're gonna roll with the punches all right so i already introduced myself so i got a couple people with me um we're gonna start with my left your right let's go I'm Jarrell Blake. I'm sure y'all have seen me floating around this congregation a Sunday or two. Um, yeah, just here to give my input. Don't hate me for it. It's my opinion. And then it's hopefully led by God. All right, I'm Cozy Mathis. Um, I'm here just to uh, hang out, you know, be honest uh, and share my two bits. Uh, definitely uh, appreciate uh, the um, the call to, to do this. Anytime I have an opportunity, I definitely want to show up. So uh, I'm here. We're going to have some real talk. Hey, my name is Chris. Chris Howard. This is my little baby right here. Genesis. She's going to be a little bad, but in here the whole time, but we're going to get through because it's the real spill. I said that right? Real spill, right? Real yeah. spill, man. It's the real spill. Keep it very. Hey, okay. She, look, she already acting up, y'all. It's all good. We love babies. <clears throat> this is Mike. Um, just here to um, discuss some views um, around the world and the church, and hopefully my opinion it could either be relatable or something we could discuss about. Good, 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 good. Well, first thing we're going to do, we got to start this off thing, this thing right. So let's pray. And then we're going to dive in our first topic. All right. Dear gracious God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time. We thank you for uh, waking us up this morning, putting us in our right mind. We pray now, God, that we have some good conversation that will be glorifying you, that it won't be any uh, selfish ambition or trying to put our own political views on other people or all these other views, you know, saying that it's right. But it's just we just want to talk and just talk it out. And um, we just love you and praise you for all the things that you have done. And uh, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So let's get into this. So real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Okay. So we've been back in the church for like the last, what, six weeks going on, seven weeks uh, back in the building from this COVID, uh, you know, you know, that Rona 19, as people are calling it. You know, we don't want to get demonetized, you know, saying this word. So Rona. Um, so we used to do church a certain way, right? Right. We used to come to church a certain way, you know, the interaction. And then now you got this this new post covid world of doing church. So this morning I want to talk about or this evening uh, I want to talk about, like, what was the differences between the two between pre covid church and post covid church? How did we interact in the, you know, in the pre compared to now? What was the similarities? If there is any similarities, what's the differences? What are the pros, the cons? What was some of those things that, um, you know, was good in pre and might not work now in post? Uh, that's the stuff I want to want to get off your dome, because, I mean, everybody has different walks of life. I'm. You know, up in my about to be mid thirties. Oh man, getting old. Got the young bucks, and then you got us us older guys. So we got a good. I think we got a good mix 
of of perspectives. And so um, the floor is open, guys. Just First of all, okay. uh, pre-COVID, super long. Church service, super long. Long in general. All churches, super long. Now we back. Nice and smooth. Got time to go see that. I mean, I love, I love church. I love the church. I, I love it. I grew up in the church. I love it. I'm just saying, for some people, newcomers, that's that can be a con, you know, that they are just, you know, yeah, it can be a con because, hey, you know, that can be a con because I can get in and get out of church, still get my word, feel like I, you know, every day, take a day step, step at a time. Okay. A little side note, start on that one. I see you. Okay, okay. Time. I feel like um, pre-COVID, there was a, a lot of groups, like churches trying to find a lot of things to get more people involved, um, different uh, Bible study classes, um, Sunday school classes. You know, we had a variety of, well, I don't know, five, six that um, an average adult could just pick. And now we done shriveled it up to about a couple, two or three. Um, not including, you know, the kids, teens, and then the primary, like they're going to be valid from here on out because that's just children. But when it comes to adults, uh, we did have a lot more. But I feel like after, um, after COVID, even though we have these smaller classes or we um, cut out some, it's the focal point of our praise and worship um, going through COVID. There was a lot of people that really did miss the church or they changed, like lives have been changed, you know, because of God letting what happened happen in 2019. So mm -hmm. I see the difference and there's nothing wrong with it because it shows how he has control, you know, whatever goes, whatever's going on. Good. I like that. I like that. Good. So I think before uh, COVID uh, church, um, <clears throat> A lot of people had the opportunity to, to had, have been there a long time, had got really used to the program, had gotten so caught up in just this is what we do and this is the way we've always done it. Uh, so I really don't have a lot to say about before, but I know after COVID uh, and um after COVID or during COVID, because it's still, still that, doing. yeah. So during and, and, and after bringing people back, I think uh, the, the churches have had the opportunity to slim down the profile of uh, the meat and, and just get to the meat and the potatoes and, and focus on what people, uh, what God really wants. Uh, not that that wasn't what was going on, but again, you get used to that same routine. You know, when you look at a church, it should almost be like your devotion. Right. In the morning, you get up and, and you, you make your way to the to the Lord. You met, you have your prayer and, and you have your opportunity to speak to God and God has his opportunity to speak back. So with that being said, once you you, you put all that back into a nutshell and, and then people just like like Chris said, hey, it feels new. I feel I feel like if we've slimmed things down and now I have a benefit from it. But that's just a small take. Small take. Uh, okay, you said a lot. All right. What you got, Jay? All right. We, was what? This is pre. It's pre. Pre, post, okay. whatever you want to so, go with. So, pre, um, I guess to, I'll start with piggybacking off of Chris as far as just time. Because, I mean, church was long. Definitely not what, nowhere near how I grew up. I grew up like, <laughs> I grew up like, it was a work day, like yeah, eight easy, hours. Easy, Sunday easy school. Eight hour, easily an eight hour shift. Definitely a Sunday <laughs> school. Yeah. yeah, Sunday school, regular worship service, BTU. Oh, yeah. So it was it was lengthy. Um But which character. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying, like which I believe that like some of it was necessary. Some stuff is just like the 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 training, like this off-season training for what's about to happen, even if what is about to happen may not be tomorrow, might not be until 2020 when we were sitting down to BTUs, whatever. That might have been what sustained me while I was sitting down during COVID, well, while it was in its its highest uh, aggressive state. Um, I think beforehand, though, there was uh, – I'll touch a, a positive point. Um, fellowship. 
there was a lot more fellowship beforehand just because of the fact that there wasn't anything out there about not having to social distance yourself. So we interacted more and that's just between uh, us uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's not even you before i even work. got to church work. like i went from I was like what is this yeah i went from seeing people i consider family like literally like all day sunday like i come in here and then just what we doing what we what we about to eat yeah. to where are we kicking it after, kicking that? after that like then I'm so after that. yeah <laughs> and then like, or whatever's happening like just just so i know if if because within the church i mean every there's clicks within the church it doesn't matter. like that's that's just understood like i love my whole church family but sorry i don't hang out with all 300 of you yeah yeah um but i love you so don't misconstrue with the two that you. i don't hang out with you i do I love, love you. you i just so yeah, yeah we just we don't we just don't <laughs> go kick it or something to that sort but again there's just the fellowship and that's what the body of the church needs right like yeah. the fellowship because it gets it gets uh tough mm -hmm. sometimes it's just you like god didn't put us here to be solo yeah individuals and just be able to maintain in life as an individual like that's not the plan so i think that's something that's uh affected everybody uh just the lack of or just yeah the lack of fellowship yeah. mm -hmm. um, I agree. Mm -hmm. another great point was like taking well a, i felt like it was like a forced leave from church like, I know it wasn't just me, but like, I felt the every member was like, I want to join. Like, the fire was on 10. So it's kind of like when you had that fire come back, it's like your church elevated, but it also was like nothing ever, like, ever really changed. Even we haven't seen each other for almost two years. So, because, so I serve, I do greeters, ushers uh parking lot any anywhere they need me so i can like see these people like genuinely more like happier than what they like kind of left with like just a fire like you know back in the parking lot by the way parking lot we got some crap we got some crap you know what i'm saying sometimes you get some crazy members whatever you know they be trying to box up all the parking lot people you know what i'm saying like off a parking spot off a parking spot hey brother way be out there like oh it's okay it's okay you have a great day, got you know what I'm saying? But pre COVID, brother, where it might be, but, uh, yeah, it might be like, hey, you better get that spot. And you going, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, every, every, every department moving different just off of the the strength, like they missed it. Yeah. Like, when something's taken yeah. away. Yeah. And, and you, and you have no like control. Control. Cause yeah. we, the church was shut down. Like, we didn't, it was, you know what? Like, I'll say this. I didn't miss God. I missed people, the yeah. people of God. People. Yeah. Right. And and exactly what you were saying, the whole fellowship. I, I love coming to church and then able to hang out with people after church. And uh, God can confirm through my brothers and sisters what uh, what he's been telling me personally. You know, uh, the pastor's done his job. Now, my, God also uses my our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. to, to speak to us. And it's through love and encouragement. And that's definitely something that I missed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but um, it shows, man. When we get complacent as the church, I feel like that's why God took it away to to realize how don't take what you have right now for granted. This this house that I built for y'all to fellowship for me, don't take it for granted. The people I put around you, don't take it for granted. At rock stick. So, you know, it's it's. I feel like it was just a nice little get right, little yeah, whooping. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he and God knows how to work, man. I mean, we come back like Tim said, we in this. Back in the church six, seven weeks, and it's been oh, every Sunday, every Sunday has been good. From, every from every, yeah, from every department, everybody that's serving to the the newest members coming in there, they they can feel the spirit moving, and that's just been the focal point. Like, give God total praise. And the crazy point about like this whole like pandemic thing, especially with us coming back in seven weeks in. Every week at Bible Way, we've been having new visitors, yeah. new people, yeah. young folks who are like seeking and searching for God. Like yeah. they're showing up and it's they like, what? 
it's like, well, we ain't seen some of our members that we we think they're gonna be here, <laughs> right? But then we seeing brand new people every Sunday, every Sunday. And I promise you, I'm gonna start talking to y'all. Like I'm gonna run after you and see you. So dude, if you see a crazy man come, hey, 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 how y'all doing? That's me. All right. So I'm just letting you know right now. I'm coming after you. But that's good. But like for me, uh, I'm going to do like a, it's a good and, and bad, right? Uh, the, 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 the good thing about the COVID, it, it made me slow down. Because when I came to church, I was always, I'm running with my head cut off. Like, I'm over here, blah, 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 getting stressed over here, whatever. And then last Sunday, like, I literally sat down on the third row upstairs, literally sat down and I follow along with the service. I had the, you know, the sermon. I was like, yo, I'm over here rocking pops. Like, I'm like, yeah. Like, I almost was at the, the verge of taking notes. Like, I was on the pool. <laughs> like, I was almost ready to take some notes. But, I mean, like, the, like I haven't done that in a long time. So, uh, that was kind of good. But then on the downside, I got kind of used to only being an hour service, right? Yeah. Like, I got kind of used to, uh, you in know, house, yeah, yeah, in the house, the man. Uh, yeah, church. watching the service, yeah, you know. But also, here's another pro, that that time with the family. Yeah. Like, we all sitting there watching the service. Like, we're sitting there intentionally watching. Like when we do a communion, we get our little crackles, and we, we yeah. get our little juices, juicy juice, whatever we had. You know, to to do the, the service right. and the girls are like asking questions about like, why are we doing this? So that's an opportunity now to be like, yo, this is what break yeah. it down to them. So in one sense, it was good. It brought back that, I guess, that family element. Yeah, I got that, too many that, videos of Jeannie. That Jeff family. The yeah. Gone. And so um, that was a beautiful uh, thing. COVID, you know, uh, you know. And people are still fearful. I, that's that's another thing that I, that kind of got me is people are still kind of fearful of coming back into church yeah. and still trying to to interact. They just don't know. Someone coughs. They oh hey how you doing? Uh, it was like you know I had a couple of folks be like why are you backing away? I'm vaccinated. I'm like. What does that mean? I ain't backing away. Like, what is like, 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 or, or, you know, oh, you know, I got my shot. I can shake your hand. Okay, that's that's cool. But you was literally doing all it is. So, what? What do I supposed to do? I'm, I'm scooting back pre-COVID. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. if you was hit, if you was hit me like that, I'll scoot back with pre-COVID. Like yeah. No way. Yeah, I did that in 2018 on you. So, so you know, while we're on the topic, you shouldn't be offended if some, you know, like you said, pre-COVID, if you coughing all over the place, I'm going to back away, right? If you coughing during COVID, I'm backing away. Like, cover your mouth, right? If you got a cough, cover your mouth, right? Yeah. It's just common courtesy. Yeah. What you doing? You you all up in your face and then trying to shake my hand? No, we can't do that no more. Like, yeah, yeah. We teach manners, you know. You know, sanitize up and all of that good old stuff. What else can we um think about with the COVID pre and post? You know, the way we do church. You know, worship service is different. It, it gave a, it gave another platform. A lot of not just us, but other churches. It gave them a lot of followings. People that didn't stream, they started streaming yeah. live service. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. Church, a lot of churches are up, uh, getting a, a bigger follow digital streaming on any platform, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, yeah. wherever they put it on Twitch as well. Yeah, we're one of those churches. Yeah. We've been move, trying to move, going to the, the streaming services for the longest. When that. COVID, yeah, and then when COVID hit, oh. We was outside running with the horses. Y'all remember that one? We outside with the, with the horse. Like we outside, daddy out there in the in the, the parking lot. He on the roof and creative. He, yeah, and so creativeness. We was thinking outside the box. Remember, the church is not these four walls, right? So it's outside. We're the church. We are the body. So it can be anywhere. Right now, we can have church. You know, like this is church. So with all that being said, you know, I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. And I do miss my being here worshiping with other believers. Like, just to see young kids be clapping and dancing, and it's a joy, and it's not that 
burdensome. Like, oh, I'm here. Oh, they singing this song, whatever. They're like literally like, yo, this is legit. Or seeing the person that you have never seen stand up in their life praising God. They standing up praising God. That is a radical change. And so... You know, I'm getting excited. My voice started getting louder, so I'm just saying. Oh, that's good. Yo, I, mean, no. I think yeah, I think renewed oh, yeah. is is probably the best phrase. I think a lot of people. I mean, I, I think in that phase, like it allowed everything to stretch, right? Like we were just mentioning the churches, like just stretching, just having to to not conform, but to grow yourself in a way to where you're just not relying on who's showing up on Sunday and that just being it. Like how do, how do we go outside the box to reach to still provide initially the purpose is yes. How do I provide uh, my church members with a service from their pastor? Cause I mean, everyone like some, I know some people like you, I'm comfortable with my pastor. Like they may not, somebody probably wasn't Googling a church and then just listening for some, some people are weary of that. And some people aren't strong enough initially in their faith to, or comfortable enough in the word to know if someone is preaching what thus says the Lord. Right? Like, so that shepherd has to (laughs) figure out like, yo, how do I, even though I can't, physically herd my sheep like I once was able to do like now I have to virtually try to herd my sheep right like that's a challenge that the, that the church had to make like and then even from that like for a while you had with like radio silence right like outside of whatever was virtual and then we elevated a little bit further and we had parking lot surface right yeah. like and that was good well first we had uh the parade oh yeah right parade and that was dope yeah. but and some things are just a morale booster because mm-hmm. you need that sometimes like you just you get down or whatever it is that happens like you're just like uh because it wasn't like church had shut down the whole world had shut oh, down wow. so now i'm stuck in the house and i love my family but Yo, if I'm yeah, if I'm locked in here with y'all, y'all locked in here with me, like yeah, like come on, you gotta get a little elbow room a little bit, right? Like, so I think that that is something that happened. I think as far as I say stretching, I know I stretched individually as a, a person because I had gotten to a spot to where I was just like, yo, like, and I come give God these couple of hours of church. I'm good to go. Yo, sometimes since we keep it a bean, yeah. I walked up in this joint mid sermon on multiple Sundays. And my foolish self would still be like, hey, I got in there though. Like, yeah, yeah, I, got that yeah I can, hey, I can check mark, went to church today <laughs> on the calendar yeah. when my parents asked me how was church service. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'd have missed the title to the sermon, all of that. I couldn't even tell you what book it was in. <laughs> But I, I went, but they don't know that I could just say that I went right. And that's speaking to Mike's complacency thing. Cause it was just literally like, that's how, I, that's what I was doing. Like it was no prep for church in yeah. whether y'all know it or not. Like you have to prep for church. Yeah. Like you can't just, I mean, the spirit will definitely lead you and you'll get in here on the whim. But I say prep as far as like, because your your mind, everything is there. So when I was getting here, if I'm rushing, if I'm busting down 90 <laughs> on 161 to get up in here, yeah. my spirit isn't settled. Yeah. I wake up in the morning, I ain't take out what I was wearing. I didn't even think about what I was wearing. It's, it's just a lot of things working against me. Yep. And that's that's the space I was in pre-COVID. So where now, because I didn't, and I didn't have any responsibility here. So it was like, man, all I got to do is pop up. Just show. Yeah, up. I'm a pew member, a yeah. balcony pew member. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm big chilling. Yeah. Ain't nobody relying on me for nothing. Like, right. so yeah, so what, what, mm. what I need to be, how am I throwing off service by popping up in here when I'm popping yeah. up in here? Yeah. 
So there was something that you said that made me think about the, you know, religion mm -hmm. and, and religious people. You know, they show up and they do their thing at church, rather than the praise and they, they go all over the praise. But the question is, is what did those religious people do? Who 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 only showed up to be religious? Who only showed up to check it off their box? Who only showed up to say, "Well, if I showed up, then God is gonna bless me just for showing up," mm -hmm. which it doesn't work like that. But what happened to those people who couldn't be religious by being in the building? Who attributed, "If I'm in the building, mm -hmm. then that equals a blessing for me." Expose them, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So 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 those people had had they had to grow. Mm -hmm. Because they could no longer count on church as being counting for them as being righteous, yeah. right? So now we, what what can I do as a religious person, right? Because yeah. now if I'm if I'm if I'm going on Facebook and saying, hey, I was there, I I clicked the like button and the love button, so my name popped up, yeah. you know. So what happens now? Yeah. So so how many, you know? So it's a good opportunity, in other words, to to remove that religion out of people mm -hmm. and allow them to see, hey, you know what? This was I had the wrong motive in going to church. I wasn't mm -hmm. going uh, necessarily to serve the Lord or hear from the Lord. It was me, me, me and Timothy. I was just going because if I didn't go, I thought I was going to have a bad week. Yeah. yeah. Right? That that yeah. that type of attitude. Yeah. And that that's religion. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I oh, that's real. my quarterly due, right? I yeah. have to, yeah. I have yeah. to do it. That's real. I, I mean, it, 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 uh, I guess it, Accountability kind of went out the window too, right? Yeah. Like so at yeah. first, at first I was man, I'm logging, I'm pre-logging on. Like yeah. I was even at home, like I was ready, ready. Like yeah, yeah, in yeah. the beginning though, that boy still, yeah. that boy still caught yeah. down. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, the crazy yeah. part. Yeah, well, in the the very first what it was two or was three, the very first two or three, like we was playing IT team in the background. Yeah, <laughs> so we was there, there, right? Like, yeah. well, y'all know that I'm glad y'all got y'all everything worked out. Yeah, we was we was trying to yeah. message y'all back when y'all were typing, oh, when y'all yeah. were typing. We was over we was here trying to house, link trying YouTube. To yeah, we all in one building eating sausage McMuffins, <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on. Oh man, who who but, don't talk on the chat today? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it is speak back. But that was my first service. Honestly, yeah. that was the first. All the years I've been here, that was the first service I've 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 given yeah, you the church and gave God. Yeah, I already been here like ten years. Yeah. <laughs> the first <laughs> when COVID happened. That's disgusting. Yeah. Like, but to circle back to the accountability, like I literally like I was on and then after a while I got complacent at home. Yeah. Like, so I don't went to like, boom. Then I went to like, yo, like, like, I'm sleeping in the chair like this. <laughs> yeah. And then he put on the slides. I'm like, cause it's, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. cause I'm lying. Yeah. 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 And then you start lying to yourself. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh man, I got, this, I got, I have access to this the whole week. Yeah. I can see it all. I can see it as long as I see it before next Sunday. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not in the hole. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's what I was telling myself. Like I was straight, like, or I can pause this, like, past this preacher right now. <laughs> pause. Let me go. Yeah. Well, I hear some of it, but then I'd be like, hold on, I'd pause it, make some breakfast or something. Yeah. And then I'd go back into it again. Sometimes. Yeah. Or I was just listening with my headphones on. But I was doing a whole bunch of other things. And to me, that was the issue with virtual for yeah. me. Because yeah. I was doing, to, I wasn't sitting down. Yeah. Like I wasn't, I wasn't focused yeah. on the service. Like I'm multitasking. feel like you were in the house of the Lord. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's, it's, your, it's your discipline that has to kick in. Because yeah. like, uh, and I agree with you. It definitely bothered my discipline for sure. So what I had to do was to say, you know what? If I was going to church, I would dedicate that time. Right for that X amount. Even if I didn't decide to watch it that Sunday, I would say, "Hey, you know what? I'm watching Sunday night." But yeah. either way, I would make sure that I had a dedicated time uh, for that particular uh, service and make sure I watch it. You know, so I can I can fully be in in service uh, at that moment. But I think that's going forward for people who want to continue to watch uh, online. Oh, yeah. yeah, that that's the yeah, that's the time. you have to yeah. Space, yeah. yeah. 
and you have to remove those distractions because yeah. that's you still got to remember that you're spending time with God. That is your Sunday service mm-hmm. right there. Yep. Leave them bags of chips alone. Right. Because I was eating everything. I was eating ham sandwich. I'm like, man, make some eggs, some bacon. Like, let's go. Watching the yeah, service. Like, I ain't even like, tripping. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Oh, what happened? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Need them eggs. You know? Full meals is happening. Just having a good old time. Just eating. Eating. I also like how um, out of all, out of just everybody, I've seen the, the youth, like, take a big step in COVID to, like, just get more in touch with their with with Christ on their and their own walk, their own journey. They're they're hitting uh the Zoom chats faster than some of these adults, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they own it. My from my brother to everybody else's little brother, everybody that we've seen grow up, like they're really growing up. I'm really proud of them. Yeah, yeah. man, you know, having fifteen regular on a Zoom, yeah. It's like bro, how did this happen? Like and y'all like they beat me on before yeah. I get on. They, 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 they tell, tell them, like, like, you coming on. Like what? Okay, my bad. But yeah, that was good. Them kids and then they they have like a desire and fire cut. They miss it. Hey Tim, when we gonna do this? When we gonna do this? When we gonna go out and do some kind of activity? When we gonna go witness? Are we still doing the homeless? Can we go to the homeless? What we gonna do? And I'm like, man, I I, I don't know. I don't know what the truly do you know because i you know with covid and then parents because some parents are still kind of nervous and so it's kind of like how do i not alienate some kids and let the other kids you know i think right now it's it's just a good it's a good opportunity for training yeah you know so if you got the kids and and as well as myself or uh adults that's growing in the ministry uh you know we always take ready for to make that next step so this is a good opportunity for growth and that's why you know i've done a lot of reading a lot of praying you Mm -hmm. know a lot of asking okay god what's the next direction looking for that next direction you know not just praying about it but looking for it you know waiting for it looking for those signs to say this is next yeah right this is the next step yeah it's beautiful though what else? What else? Last thing on the cut, we're gonna switch gears. What what else? What else y'all got for like the pre post? Are we about to switch gears. Anything else that y'all see? That's good. I know the way we interacting going forward is gonna have to be totally um I wouldn't say different. We could still be friendly. You know what I mean? But it's still gonna have that that kind of aura of like you know what i'm still gonna be to my own i know it's gonna be kind of hard because it's just the pandemic times that we're in right like you know you're still gonna have your clicks up they're gonna be some clicks like it, it is what it is like i mean that's what it is so if you don't see people being sociable don't take it as a a bad thing right that, i think that's one of the things that we have to keep in consideration it's not a a bad thing it's just i i'm not rocking like that yeah like i know i've seen some churches um they had like wristbands you know green oh man you can hug me kiss me you can do whatever you want you know yellow uh, pump your brakes only certain people red don't touch me don't look at me don't breathe my Yeah, but you can't you can't stop nobody's walk. Like the the, the doors are open for anybody that's willing to accept. And but God also finds a way to put certain people. He'll put certain people around you personally to make sure your walk is stable, consistent, keep it moving. So when it comes to clicks, God really helps make those certain clicks because it is what it is. Those are the brothers or sisters that need to be around this person in, in this season. Mm-hmm. You know, you know what? I'm with you on that because a lot of people think clicks are a bad thing. Nah. Clicks are bad things when when it becomes uh, to be uh, negative, right? Yeah. You know, because truly, um, everybody has different personalities that click with other personalities. So, uh, me and you may be brothers in Christ, or sisters and brothers in Christ, but guess what? Me and you may not click. Yeah. That don't mean that I don't, I don't, yeah, uh, we don't like you. Yeah, we, we just, just don't necessarily click, yeah, right? Yeah. 
We just don't don't rock. Like it is what it is. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. It's respect. All the disciples yeah. didn't hate. Yeah, it. all the disciples hated each other. Yeah. Like, yeah. like they did not like each other, man. But they grew to love each other eventually. But they did not like each other. All different walks of life. You got Peter, a fisherman. I wouldn't like Matthew. I wouldn't like Matthew either. Yeah, I wouldn't, boy, I wouldn't like, mess with Matthew. Where my sword at? You know? Okay, <laughs> like, like yo, you work for the Romans. Like, yeah, you don't get <laughs> you're a government <laughs> worker. Like, yeah. He getting dropped by Matthew. He getting dropped. He he is dropped. Like, yeah, yeah, he getting dropped. He is. <laughs> he getting dropped. And Judas too. I think Judas will get on my nerves like, a little bit. Why y'all always talking about money, bro? Like, get away from so me. Matthew like, bring my stacks back. He be Yeah, yeah. Just replace. Money back? And then, yeah, figure, oh. help me figure out these loopholes in the taxing system, and we good, money. So we'll be pay fine. less than everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah just a little bit. Then we squared away. We good. We good. All right. Cozy press out. Sure, man. sure. And then we out. All right. We'll do. All right, we'll go ahead and pray it out. Uh, Definitely, Father, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity that you've given us uh, to share amongst one uh, uh, one another. Um, We pray that this goes out as far as you uh, can have it to reach, Father, Lord. Lord, we thank you again for your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for our sins. We pray that anyone listening uh, would be touched and that they would accept the gospel and your son, Jesus Christ, Father, Lord. We thank you again for everything that you've done in our lives. We ask that the church continue to flourish and you keep us all in uh, in unity as a body, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So thank you all for tuning in, watching us. Uh, please like, subscribe, share. Uh, all the contact information will be on the screen. And this is, you know, the real deal, the real spill with uh, Bible Way. So we love you. Peace. Good night. See y'all on Sunday.